Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. So Solana, um, for everybody who wants to see the bearish wave count, check out the last video from yesterday. <clears throat> I talked about the bearish wave count there a little bit more. For now, we're tracking here the bullish wave count again, which doesn't mean it's my primary scenario. We still have to expect primarily lower lows. Um, for Solana, however, it's not looking too bad, to be honest. It's not looking too bad and it's one of the more bullish looking coins at the moment. Um, however, if we make it below $30.85, I think it's getting very, very likely that we will see a lower low below $25 to $26. Why, one target for that, and that would be my key target, my first main target would be around the $20 mark, basically between $19 and $21. Um, one reason for that is that all these overlaps we are seeing here. Yeah, There's a few thoughts around this. Um, first of all, the move up here, yeah, leading diagonal is fine. The move down as well is fine. After a leading diagonal, you normally see quite a strong sell-off, but you can easily make that work impulsively to the downside. And what is currently coming up here is not yet that impulsive. We can construct it as an impulse, but it would contain a lot of overlaps. We have here a one, two, that would need to be another one, two setup. And you know, what you would have expected at the latest here after that wave two low in white yesterday, um, no, sorry, a few days ago would be a wave three to the upside. Now that might have started, don't get me wrong. It might have started here with this wave one, then a wave two down, but now we should we should finally be in that wave three. Yeah, we should be. And then in that wave three, we should reach here the $40 level. So this is possible still, but the more overlaps we're getting, at the same time, the less likely it gets. So overlaps here with higher lows can either mean we are super bullish because all of these are one, two setups, which are building the foundation of something. Um, but the more you have, the less likely it just gets, you know, all these overlaps. So for now, I remain highly skeptical. And also I would want to see price confirmation above $48 to be more bullish. At the moment, we are tracking this. Yeah, We need to have it on the radar and we know that below $30.85, probably the bearish scenario is going to work out or at least we have high confidence that the bullish one has been invalidated and then it will just be very hard to make the bullish one still work. We can probably still do it, but there is not much more space then to, to drop further until it gets very, very unlikely. So for now, we can focus here on the on further upside until we get, first of all, the $30.85 level broken. Um, a key level which should know now hold as well is here the $32.15 level. Uh, but from here we are now looking at higher and next evidence that here a wave two has been finished and that we indeed are moving higher and that also the sub wave one two is finished is to hold first of all here the swing low of $32.15. Uh, it's actually no, it's actually $32.40 and then we need to break above the $37 level. Yeah, it's adjusted a little bit. I think it's the $37 level, which would need to be broken now to then reach $40. Um, but here is really the decision point. Yeah, and that might happen today. That might happen next few days. This is the decision point, in my opinion, the next key one, because here, this is not only next resistance, and that would be fine. What it is, is first of all, around number $40, psychological number, okay. But even more important in, at the moment in this area, and that might change because it's coming down, you have the 50 day moving average and the 50 day moving average has pushed or has not even allowed Solana to go up here. It pushed Matic down. It pushed a lot of cryptocurrencies down at the moment. So here the $40 level is um, in that range between $39.40 and $40. This will be highly, highly relevant. The problem is that the target for the wave three in white really only goes into this area. So we might not even have final confirmation in the wave three. We might need to wait here for wave five to the upside. Um, best confirmation that a, lo a longer rally is starting would be a move above the wave one high here. That would be above $43 pretty much. Yeah. So for now we are still below all these levels and what is coming up here is not too bullish yet. Yeah, it's not too bullish yet. So we need to wait for further confirmation. But at the moment, yeah, we can look at higher prices until these lows that I mentioned to you are broken. And um, for now, I remain skeptical until we see, first of all, this level broken. Yeah, then the wave one high and then the $48 level or 48.41. I think if 48.41 gets broken, we are possibly looking here at a longer rally to the upside. 
Then we have a first target of $58 for wave three in yellow. And then we can look at the next structurally important levels here around $75, you know, um, then we've got here $81 and there's various structural levels here, $110 for example. So that is then future, the future um, for now. Yeah, we have a few positive signs. We have a few negative signs here on the chart and we're tracking it to understand which one is going to unfold. Unfortunately, we are at the moment in a space of uncertainty. We're at the moment in an, um, a possible turnaround space because the trend down, the move down could be finished. Uh, I'd be happy with that, yeah, because we reached my target of around $30 that we talked about many, many months ago. Um, and from here, yeah, turning around would be ideal, but it just is lacking at the moment the additional volume we need and the additional bullish price action. But it's still possible to track it as bullish at the moment. All right, so hopefully you liked the update about Solana. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.